everyone, I'm Mindy from Cute Girls Hair Styles. And I'm Paisley. And she's Paisley, she's helping me out today. We are going to show you how we do a Paisley protective style. With black, long, beautiful black and red hair. She picked out an ombre type of hair to add you in. You did? Yeah, well she asked for an ombre color and the one that was there was red, so that's what we're going with. Last time we did blue, so now we're gonna do red twist. We're going to attempt Sengali's medium sized twist and we're using Kanekalon hair. So I'm hoping I'm saying all of those words correctly, but that's what we're going with. It's gonna be a process, isn't it, Pace? Yep, a three hour one. But I'm gonna show you all the tricks that I've learned, all of my tips. If you guys haven't already subscribed to the channel, be sure to click the button right here and let's get to it. Ready, Pace? Yep. So as you guys can see, I've already totally deep wash, <laughs> deep conditioned her hair last night. I'm gonna take the bands out and then we're gonna start the parting process. For product I am using today, hair I am hair. using this Kanekalon hair, you can see it I is. was right about Heritage. Yes, we're using Heritage I was like, as Heritage the leave-in oh, conditioner okay. pudding. I'm using this hair, you can see it goes ombre from dark to red. And it is a very important pre-stretch. It's gonna make your life a million times easier at the ends if it's pre-stretched mm. like this. It's also anti-edge, tangle-free, quick dry, ultra light, and hot water set. Two things I always look for, hot water set and pre-stretched. Literally life-changing. Don't make the mistake I did when I first started doing hair and use the wrong hair because then it's just way harder. I bought six packs of this. They're like a dollar ninety-nine each or something, but I don't think I'll use all six, so I'll keep you posted. I'm hoping to get like five twists out of each hairband, so we'll see. I'll, I'll keep you posted as we get going. Okay, so here's what it looks like. I have the hair all laid out on the couch. Um, I have my little workstation here on my towel that prevents the grease from getting on my couch. I have Heritage leave-in conditioner pudding. I'm gonna use Blue Magic for the hair dress. Kind of, it's just like a little, adds a little more grease to it. Um, moisturizes the hair, kind of locks the moisture in. More than anything, acts a little more like an oil. So that's great for when I'm doing protective styles. I have my rat tail comb to help me part. A little bit of water in case I need it. She's got her little bench to sit on and her leaves to play with. And we're sitting in front of the TV iPad. so it keeps her distracted, or her iPad, sorry. And we're ready to go. I feel like you guys are getting like the come into my home and actually experience this with me version of this hair tutorial. It's not quite as buttoned up as we normally film, but uh, definitely real life where you can see uh, all the hair and all of the garbage I just threw on the floor that I'll clean up when I'm done. Cause it's like, just get it out of the way for now. Get it out. Okay guys, after I take Paisley's hair out of the bands, this is what it looks like. So you can see how much straighter it dried just because I had it banded. And it's gonna be a lot easier to work with in the twists. I just pull these out of the way right now cause I'm gonna be parting this lower level to begin with. Okay, so I literally just took my rat tail comb and divided the hair like this. And I pretty much went from top of ear to top of ear for my first row. And then this is ready to start subdividing into sections. The like sectioning I feel like is the hardest part for me. Like just making sure these rows are nice and beautiful and straight takes the most time for sure. Okay, so I have the first three done. You can see, and I'm gonna show you how to do these on the next row, but I'm gonna just subdivide this row again. I parted on this second part. I went up to her crown. She's got a little fuzz from one of the elastics in her hair but I went from ear all the way across the top to ear, and then I'm gonna divide this section in half. So she'll end up having like three rows in the back is what it's looking like right now, and then the front, I'll go side to side. Okay, can you see how I can just really gently brush through her hair without pulling snarls or it making too much of a fuss? That is because we stretched her hair, so you can see how much length I have on that to work with. Okay, now I'm using Heritage Leave-In Pudding. I just take a dab of it and I run this through her hair. Now this leave-in conditioner pudding has a little bit of moisture to it. So as soon as I do this, you'll see her hair kind of start, it'll start curling back up, you watch, just because it has a little tiny bit of moisture in it. But that's why I do it section by section. Because if I did this one before I needed it, it would probably shrink back up. Then I'm gonna take some of the Blue Magic and I'm just running it down her hair too. And I told you, that this is kind of a conditioning, like um, hair dress. It just like kind of coats the hair, it has a little more oil in it. So it coats her hair and holds all that moisture in that I just put into it. And especially I do those ends. Now for people with my hair type, you would be thinking like, oh my gosh, this would make my hair really greasy. But for her hair, it just loves it, soaks it right up. It will keep her hair nice and moisturized and conditioned 
for the next four weeks. Okay, now she has really curly hair right here in the roots. And if I do her hair like this, just like this, I'm gonna get these little fuzzies coming up and popping up out of her hair sooner than I'd like. So I'm taking just a little bit of gel and right here in the root line, and the gel I use doesn't leave any white flakage. It just kind of moisturizes her hair again and lays all those little baby edges down nicely. So this is a little heavier gel than I normally use like on her front pieces. This is more of a like heavy duty gel for long-term hold. So you can see now I have her pieces all ready to go. So there are two ways to do this. I'm gonna show you both ways. I'm doing a jumbo twist, so again, I told you I'm using a pretty big chunk of hair right here. I'm gonna divide it into two pieces, like this. Now, you can take this piece and roll it, roll it, roll it. I always roll to the right for some reason. And you can see how that's laying flat against her scalp. Her hair is nice, not so tight, it's bubbling her scalp at all, but nice and taut against her forehead, or against her head, I mean. Then I'm gonna take this piece and roll it the same direction. Like this and then what you do is cross this one over and I kind of roll it again as I cross and you can see that it basically forms a little rope twist okay so if I kept twisting like this I'm creating that rope twist so you can do it like that and it's gonna stay in but can you see how it's a little bit loose against her head right here and right here this is my problem with her hair is they, this is gonna create more poppage on her little loose ends faster if I do it this way. So my preference, this is totally just dependent on your hair type and what you prefer. My preference is to do the rubber band method. So in that case, I just kind of lay it like this, lay it down the middle, and I pull those two pieces up and around it, like this. And then I take an elastic, and I secure the elastic around her natural hair, so not the synthetic hair. And again, you want it tight, but not so tight that it's bubbling her scalp or anything weird. So, there we go. I give it just a nice gentle little tug to tighten it down. And then you have your two pieces. You just have to make sure these ends match. You can slide it as needed. Make sure that they match. And you're always, as you're working with synthetic hair, you're always gonna have some that falls out. I just let it fall, and we deal with it later when I'm done. So in this case, same thing here, I have my two pieces, roll to the right, roll to the right, like this, and cross over. I stick some of the blue magic right here just to kind of help ev hold everything down. As I roll, it keeps, the it keeps the hair nice and secure. And I try really hard to roll her natural hair. You can see in as, far as possible so it's like the synthetic hair that's on the outside edge and not her natural hair right here I can see that her hair is kind of getting thick so that's gonna pre like kind of make a little lump so I'm just gonna like gently brush it a little bit and try to smooth that down so that we have a more natural transition you will learn very quickly that when working with hair types like Paisley when you're styling like we are you're gonna have a lot of moisture on your hands and that's just because that's the best thing for their hair. And when you're adding all that in, it's gonna hold their hair nice and moisturized the whole month. So we take it all the way down as far as we can. And then we have that twist all nice and complete with nice tight roots. And then we start over on the next piece. The last thing I wanna show is just that on the bottom row, we had three twists. And on the next row up, we have four. So you want ideally the boxes to be like off center from each other so that you don't end up with one whole section where there's just a part line. So it just gives it a little bit cooler pattern and it's easier on their scalp. So I'm gonna move up to the next row and keep finishing. So it's been a couple hours and we finished all of the hair. Check it out, Pace, hey, film your hair. So it's all good to go and looking beautiful. I'll show you how to heat set it. Okay, so when I got to the top, I told you I had parted this top row and we did end up having three under here. Then I did from this side to her ear and you can see there were three there as well. I did one, then two, then three, and then same thing on this side. So one, two, and three. And this is the finished look. And now I have already dunked it once, but we're gonna dunk it again for, so I can show you guys the heat set. 
Okay, so we're taking this. This is a pitcher full of very hot water, and we just take the ends in and dunk them. Tip your head back a little bit, babe. And we just go down, hold them, and then dunk, and then out. And they're hot, so we put a towel on her so that it doesn't get to her. And then we'll do this side and the opposite side, and then dry them off. We are going to do the set lotion. A foaming setting lotion, right? Mm-hmm. Good job. It's gonna look beautiful. Okay, to finish off the look, just for fun, we added some gold like ribbon through here. It's like just braiding thread and we added some little um, dreadlock jewels. This is the thread. Yeah, this is the thread when it's not in. And then I just twisted the thread really super tight on this side to give her just kind of a little accent. Okay. So that's it, guys. We finished it. It took a lot of hours. A day, two days, and a couple of hours. Well, that's for wash. To complete the actual twist, we did what, maybe three and a half hours? One and a half? Three and a half, I think. I but think it's finished. Was, I think it was four because we took a lot High fives. Break. We did take breaks. Okay, you guys, if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, be sure to do that by clicking the link right here. You can check out our other videos by clicking over there, and we'll see you guys next week. Bye, Bye. guys.